Okay, welcome back. And we are moving on to our next unit. And the next unit is transformations. So we're, uh, with geometry, we are always talking about vocabulary. And I think you'll notice that in the first unit, uh, the vocabulary is vital. Again, in this unit, nothing is changing. Vocabulary is vital. So let's get started. We have some vocabulary terms that we already have learned the definitions of. So we're going to review them. And you'll see that we have two triangles up top that uh, look the same. And we're going to talk about those. Let's get started. So congruent, the symbol for congruent was the equal sign with a squiggly over top of it. And the definition is same shape and size. For the word vertex, this is a new vertex, new definition, and the definition for the word vertex is the point where two rays or line segments intersect. Another word for intersect, cross. Okay, a vertex is a corner on a shape. Vertex, so if we're looking at the triangle, we have three corners, so we have three vertices, and I'm gonna put, vertices is the plural when we're talking in that, okay? And give that a little example right there. I will say that a triangle has three vertices. The word transformation is also a new one, and that's the title of the unit. So a transformation is moving a point image or shape from one location to another. There are three different types of transformations that we're going to do. The first one that we're going to talk about is translations. The second one, reflection, or reflections. And the third one, rotations. The fourth word that we're talking about is pre-image. The pre-image is the original image before, I'm going to put that in all capitals, it has been transformed. On the triangles up top, the pre-image is triangle A, B, C. The image is the image after it has been transformed. Sorry, I ran out a little bit of space there. The image up top is triangle A B, and those little marks right there, you have to write the marks in. They look like apostrophes. We're going to get to those right now. And those little marks are called primes. So this is read as triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So prime, the definition for prime is the mark attached to the 
vertices of the shape to identify that it is the newly transformed image. And I'm going to put in here, they look like an apostrophe. They look like an apostrophe. So those are your vocabulary terms. I'm going to have you come back into class, and we're going to go over the images up top and show you congruent markings and congruent shapes of the triangles up top and write some congruent statements. Make sure you get these vocabulary terms down, and I'll see you in class. Take care.